What's up, guys? So before I jump into the TA and the article, I did want to address the situation that everybody is kind of facing right now. We are seeing some, I guess, stagnant areas within cryptocurrency. Not much price fluctuation is happening. We're not seeing those crazy high swings, as well as we're not seeing some crazy low dips. And I just want you guys to all be patient. And uh, I just wanted to put out a quick like reminder, a quick notice. Um, I am aware of that of the fact that some of you guys bought at levels that were pretty high up in crypto. I have a few friends who purchased Bitcoin at levels of like seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000, which is extremely high. I guess the quote is FOMO. They FOMO bought in, fear of missing out, and they bought at levels that are extremely high. And now they bought at 18000 and they've only been in the market to see Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum go down. And that's what I want to touch upon. upon. Now, I've been in here for a year and I've seen the price go up and I've seen the price go down as well. So that's what I wanted to point out to you guys that I want you guys to be mentally strong, be prepared, be okay. This is hodling. This is a different game. We're not in it to make swing trades, to make quick money in, quick money out, you know, get rich overnight, get a Lamborghini overnight. I, I know all the spam comments you see below, but um, this is more or less a uh, a little quick video to let you guys know that Everybody's affecting, getting affected. Everybody is having the same thoughts on this, but be strong, be okay. Huddle your coins. Just it, it's an experience. You don't. I hope nobody put in uh, more money than they were capable or comfortable with losing. I hope you guys did not do that. This is the pullback, and I'm telling you, and I promise you guys, we are going to see an uptrend. It's just bound to happen. It's unfortunate we've seen seven months of a bearish market, but you know what? Imagine a seven month bullish market, how happy you guys would be. And guess what? Because you subscribe to this channel and because you're following this with us, you will make money. I can almost guarantee that you will make money because you are following this. Now, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know, you know, all the tricks of the trade. I'm not licensed or anything, but I'm just telling you my standpoint and things that I personally do. And I like to explain that and show that with you through YouTube as a way to communicate with you guys and see how or a way for me to let you guys know how I trade. And basically, I think this is cool information and I really appreciate it if you guys could see it too. And that's why I made the YouTube channel. But otherwise, we I know the market is down and I know I'm seeing it in my views that we're slightly moving down. People are getting bored. But we will stick this out. We will get through it. We will see a price movement higher up. I promise you, let's just let this play out. And eventually we'll get that bull market and everybody will be happy. But otherwise, enjoy the TA. What's going on YouTube? Hayden back with another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we'll be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Ripple to Bitcoin. So shout out to Alligator Jack. If you guys are new to the channel or want to be shouted out in tomorrow's video, please make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, as well as leave a comment telling me which cryptocurrency we should review in tomorrow's video. Otherwise, I just want to jump into this article really quick, pretty much why you clicked on the video. It says Litecoin value could easily rise to the four digits sooner than everyone expects. Basically, it's an article by the Global Coin Report that says Litecoin is, being, is one of the tokens that has been in the market for a decent time now. Uh, even as it is one of the oldest coins in the crypto, the prices continue to be under expectations of many. A fact that raises a lot of concern and doubts regarding whether the coin is undervalued or not. So basically, a lot of people think Litecoin is undervalued. In fact, there are strong reasons to believe that the currency will surpass three digit price will surpass the three digit price very soon. Let's see the main reason behind it. So I just wanted to point out where I found it to be be important. So just scrolling down, we have this quote right here. So in this part of the article it says, like it is worth mentioning that uh, one of the main usabilities of cryptos is serving as a payment method. And this is something in which Bitcoin clearly has the lead as well as being adopted in several mega websites. Nonetheless, Litecoin may see a higher adoption considering the fact that what it has to offer is better transaction, actually cheaper, and they even take less time. So this part, once the market starts to rise again, a massive adoption of Litecoin could skyrocket the price of the coin. Even being possible that Litecoin gets the 
forecasted number of a 1,000 US dollars. In order for this to happen, one or more things needs to get rid of this relation with Bitcoin, a fact that seems to be more detrimental than helpful. But basically, a lot of these websites are popping up saying that this cryptocurrency, especially Litecoin, is undervalued and can rise at any point when we see the currency take off. So it's definitely something I wanted to point out and talk to you guys. Definitely for all those who have bought at higher levels, and are seeing a pullback right now. The pullback was indeed going to happen. I apologize if you weren't watching the channel or involved in it when we saw the pullback. Um, so I did wanted to tell that, uh, tell you guys that uh, don't. If you bought it at the currency when it was too high, it's okay. The price is coming back down to a consolidation point. We actually look pretty nice on both Bitcoin and Litecoin charts. And we may see eventually a rise or a movement back up to the top. Maybe not all-time highs, but definitely some higher highs than we've been seeing in the past. So basically, Litecoin has been consolidating for the past couple days in a very tight spot in between this wedge or this uh, downtrending channel that we have. You can see how we retested support again and shot right up off that. And we are kind of stalling or in this price level right here. Whether this is a channel on its own, we can pretty much, yeah, I guess we can, we can call that a, another channel. Or basically, it's between, uh, it's facing resistance right now at the top. And I'm going to draw that in right now. You can see where the bottom of this is happens to be the top of where Litecoin is facing some strong resistance right now. If we manage to break above that, as well as break above this downtrend, we could definitely see a move back up to the all, the uh, the high low MMA. And it definitely looks like it could go there. Uh, I guess it just needs a few more days of consolidation. We can see where this currency goes. But I do think with Litecoin being undervalued, if we see more volume move into the market and the market goes back to uh, kind of a neutral standpoint, we could see that volume push the crypto up at least to the high low MMA 126. As we see more adoption, the uh, Litecoin summit, and we hear the good news. Any type of volume could really make this currency explode and go really high. Uh, Litecoin looks quite nice. You guys can see that we had this ascending triangle and surprisingly we managed to break up off this again. I guess again we retested the uh, support line right here for Bitcoin and we popped right up off that. So nice to see that we are currently above a resistance level at 6700. We're currently trading at 6739. So definitely a nice little bump. Uh, the thing is we are currently facing overbought regions in Bitcoin on the four hour. And if we check out the daily, we'll see if we are still in a good position. So yeah, on Bitcoin for the daily chart, we are still currently in a good position. You can see we're around 50 on the stock RSI, which is pretty much neutral and average. But on the four hour, we do look quite nice. And we are hopefully going to continue to use this uptrend as well as the high low MMA to push the price higher up. Our next goal is the 8,000 region. But it's nice to see that Bitcoin is finally at a price level of 6,700. The last time it was there was around june 21st so it's been quite quite a bit not too long but definitely nice to see that we're going up and not down this could be the bottom who knows we may be seeing some nice bullish momentum pushing us higher up in the near future uh lastly this is ethereum ethereum seems to be doing what i've anticipated as you seen in my last few videos i was looking to see the price go back up to this high low mma and i think that's where all the currencies are trying to go right now you can see we have this green move right here we are looking quite nice on the stock rsi2 at around 48 but i'm definitely expecting to see a slow consolidation but bringing the price higher up to that 600 region near the high low mma or at least retesting that if that's 600 or 570 ish in this region for sure but that's where i can see ethereum try to go or or get to lastly let's check out a uh sorry ripple um what i'm noticing right off the bat is the downtrend that is facing if i can just there we go there's a quite a nice downtrend right here now i'm just going to draw in some support for this currency we have one which it's currently at right here we have some lower and then I'll draw one more representing the bottom. So this is definitely an interesting coin trading pretty much flatlined on the stock RSI, almost entering that oversold region. Uh, you can see how we do have a descending triangle and we are currently below that high low MMA, which is pretty much where the resistance has been trying to break above that. So. It is interesting to see that we're finally coming to an area where the where we're going to test the uh, downtrend. 
And we're also looking quite nice on the stock RSI. And the fact that we are below the high-low MMA with enough support, and if this can hold this support level, we should be able to pop out and go back up to this region. So I'm just gonna draw that in for you guys really quick. So if all goes well, I can see it coming right up to this price level. But um, that's gonna sum up the video for today, guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, give a nice thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.